hello welcome back to my youtube channel how has it been with you well today i'm going to be talking about what to do what to do i'm offering a you know and i'm here to you know encourage you if you haven't subscribed to this youtube channel please do so what am i here to talk about today i am just here to encourage everyone of us you know because sometimes it just seems as if in life there is no going forward. There is no coming, you know, backward. We are just stuck in a particular spot in life, in a particular place. You turn to the right, no solution. You turn to the left, no solution. Back is worst. Ahead of you is blocked. What to do? Well, what do you do? Like in the Bible, in the book of Psalm 121, the psalmist said in verse 1, he said, My help cometh from the Lord, who is made the heaven and earth. He said, He will not suffer my foot to be moved. He that keepeth me will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is my keeper. The Lord is my shed. The Lord is the shed upon the, the Lord is the, the Lord is my shed. You know. He is the uh, shield of is the shield upon my right hand. He said, "The sun shall not smite me by day, nor the moon by night, but he shall preserve me from all evil." When you look, read the whole of it, you know I'm just trying to summarize it for us. That was what the psalmist said. So at this point, what to do? Go to the scripture. Quote it. Tell God, especially verse one. Tell God. He said, my, "Just say, God, my help coming from above." And when you do this, you begin to see the mighty hand of God at you at work in your life. Because you know, sometimes we just feel all the people in the Bible they never once face situations like that. They fix it. Do do you? you know have you been married for a couple of years and you don't have children you know or you've got someone you seem so worried you seem so bothered and it's as if they are not coming and they won't come go to prayer go to god in prayer say god let your will be done because if you want to search the scripture then you will find anna Anna prayed until her Samuel came. So do you think if you can go to God in prayer and don't give up, your own Samuel will not come? What about, you know, you need wealth. You are not wealthy. You go forward. It's as if you are cursed. Then remember Jabez. The Bible said Jabez was even cursed by his, by his mother. He was cursed. And Jabe look at his life, we look all around him, everything was poverty stinking. The Bible said Jabez cried to God and he said, Oh God, bless me that I might be a blessing to my generation. What is it that you are going through? Is it your own family that is against you? Then I bring you to the notice of King David or to the notice of Joseph himself. These were people that their own family becomes their, you know, becomes the problems in their life, becomes the devil they see. They didn't give up. They rather they look up and say, God, let your will be done. And God didn't back up on them. It was as if nothing you know, nothing to do again, what to do. They turned to God and they said, God, let your will be done. And God healed them from above and something or rather things begin to happen. What is it that you are going through, my beloved brothers or my beloved sister? Are you sick? You've been sick for years. Then I take you back to the woman with the issue of blood. She was, you know, having this issue of blood for good 12 years the, the the bible says the bible says she she didn't know what to do she sold all she had she almost gave up but when she could turn to the master just a touch at the end of the master's garments the blood ceased 
Name, 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 neither did the blood just cease alone. She was being in short. The master asked, someone touch me. Who touched me? Because she knew what she wanted. She could stand and say, I needed the step. That was why I taught you. She came out and the master said, you are made whole. That was what the master said. And a healing becomes permanent. What is it that, you know, is troubling you? And you are just like, I am going to commit suicide. I am tired and I am ending it. The Lord is asking me to tell you that if only you can trust in him, if only you will not give up and say, oh God, help me and let your will be done in my life. He will hear you from heaven and he will heal that land of yours that seems buried. He will heal that sickness of yours that seems not to have cure. He will heal that womb of yours, remembering that, yes, he said in his word that there shall be no barrenness in the land. He will fight those battles for you like he fought for the children of Israel. When even three nations gather themselves together against one nation, he will fight for you. What is it? The Bible says he will do it for you. Now, some would say, eh, it's because things are okay for you. That's why you are talking like this. No. If you can really search people's life, not everybody have it all. And this brought us to the life of our Savior, Jesus Christ, the master, the, the, the master and the author of life himself. The one that has everything at his command. The Bible says at the point when he was about facing the crucifixion, he could not, he, shot, he was almost like giving up. He didn't want to go further again. He looked around him, no help. He looked behind him, no help. He looked beside him, there was no help. Even at the point you know he was he was just like oh god this is more than me but the bible says the holy spirit helped him and all he could pray was god let your will be done if you can tell god let your will be done in that situation that is asking you now that you seems like what do i do that is looking and staring at you and you're just like what to do what to do I am telling you now, you are asking what to do, what you should do, pray. Yes, you don't have money in your pocket, pray. You don't have anything, pray. Then somebody will tell me, I have been praying now. I have prayed. Oh, if this is the no, I have prayed right. I was a kid. I've been praying and I'm still praying and praying, but nothing is happening. Then I take you to the notice of even the prophet Daniel. The Bible says Daniel prayed on the very day he prayed. The answer came, but something happened. The priest of Pesha withhold the blessing, withhold, withhold the, 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 the reward, the answers to uh, Daniel's prayer. The Bible says for 21 days, Daniel remained on the altar of prayer and continued to pray. Until God turns again, this man is still there, but I already released to him his blessing. What is it? And God sent Angel Michael. And then Angel Michael got down and found out that the Prince of Patience was wrestling with the answer to Daniel's prayer. He was wrestling with uh, 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 Angel Gabriel because Angel Gabriel is the angel of good news. He is the one that bring, bring, brings good tendings, you know. Why Angel Michael was the, my, was, was, was the angel, or rather he is the angel of war, the angel of battle. He is the angel when the things become too much. He goes, God, 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 God will command him to say, Michael, go. And he goes and he fights every battle. The Bible says the prayers of Daniel, the answer to prayers Daniel, to, to Daniel's prayer was withheld by the Prince of Peter. But because he didn't stop praying, but because he didn't give up and he was not tired, the Bible say, and Jamaica went there and the battle was won. And 
the battle was won. And the answer of Daniel, the answer to Daniel's prayer, get to Daniel. This was prayer that was prayed on the first day. And that very instant, the answer was given. But it took him another 20 days, another 20 days for that answer to get to him. Hmm. So why then should you say, I have been praying now? What about uh, Hannah? Hannah was praying, was going to Shiloh to pray every year. Even, even got to a point, even the priest accused her of being drunk. But he didn't stop her, she didn't give up. What to do? Pray. What to do when the whole world is against you? When it seems your whole life is turning, turning upside down, turning all around you? Pray. Don't give up. You don't know what to pray about? You say, oh, I'm tired. I'm lost of ways. I am lost of the kind of prayer I should pray. Just say, Father, not my will anymore. Not the will of anyone for me anymore. But your 